Is professional wrestling real or fake? Did you just say fake? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, how fake was that? And over the course of the next few days, I'll be learning everything I need to know so I can have my first ever match against an opponent picked for me by my trainer. So why exactly am I doing this? Well, I've always wondered if professional wrestling was real or fake, and thankfully I have a friend who is a professional wrestler willing to teach me the ropes. Pun intended. Literally. So I ended up reaching out to my friend Grim over FaceTime, and this is what happened. I would like you to finally teach me how to become a professional wrestler. Wait, for real? And like, come on, we all know like wrestling is fake to a degree, and I just want to learn how fake it really is. Well, pull up over to GTS Wrestling for training this week, and I will show you how real pro wrestling really is. You mean fake, right? I said I'll show you how real it really is. Now with Grim on board willing to train me, it was time for me to finally show up to see exactly how real or fake professional wrestling is. I'm so nervous right now. This is like the craziest <laughs> thing I'm ever going to do. You hey, actually did it. You don't know what you're doing. We got to yeah. teach you things. So yes. you're not really a dummy. By the time we're done today, I'm going to be like, uh, you're going to be a trained genius. So I'm going to be like Becky Lynch. Yeah. So I'm glad that you actually showed up. I was worried that you were going to be like, you know what? I'm scared now. I do, I do, you know, <laughs> I've had this idea for over a year now and I was like, this would be the coolest thing to do. But then I was scared because like I didn't have health insurance. I didn't want to get hurt. And I'm like, I have insurance, but like, hopefully I don't get hurt. Come in the ring for a second. Cause I have something very important to tell you. So you brought up being afraid. Yes. The one thing you can't do between these ropes is get afraid. The minute you get afraid is the minute you get hurt. It was me versus our heavyweight champion, Eris Spiral. And when I grabbed her and cinched her up for the rock bottom and I yeeted her into the air, she tried to slip out of it sideways. And instead of coming down on her back, she came down on her head and shoulders. And that sounds so painful. She broke her shoulder. Because what happens is in wrestling is we're falling on our backs. It's not a natural thing for our bodies to do. So our bodies will tense up. Our body will try to twist and protect itself. You have to center yourself and say, this is the right way. And if I do it the right way, I won't get hurt. It was at this moment I started second guessing myself if I really want to do this. So we're going to pull you in. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and we're going to hit it with the rock ball. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was about to have a heart attack right there. OK, so before we would ever try that, we can try a training dummy, right? So when I grab a training dummy and I'm going to hit it with the rock bottom, I grab it like this. Okay. I'm picking it up in the air and I'm right on its back, flat. You kick in the arms. Oh, the people's elbow. And then you go for the pin. <laughs> then you go for the pin. How painful was that? Very painful. So every time you hit this ground, it's like getting in a car crash. My brain's, <laughs> my brain's trying to process getting in a car crash. Knocking on like wood. Thankfully, I've never, well, I've hit deer, but like I've never been in one. It's not a what's trampoline. The ring, what's the ring made out of then? Cause like, there's a bounce. Steel beams, wood beams, foam padding. That's how it. How much foam? All right, so what are we gonna learn first then? Okay, so you need to learn how to fall. In pro wrestling, the way to keep yourself safe and not get hurt is to do things the right way safely. When you fall, you want to fall right here. This is the safe part of your back and you want to keep your head tucked, your chin always tucked to your chest. As long as you tuck your chin, your spine is never aligned. When your spine compresses, it's going to break. You land like this, you might get hurt, but you're not going to get paralyzed. Falling on this is like falling on the floor. You have a little bit of bounce because if you're coming off of here, that way you don't break everything. All right, so show me how to actually fall then. Wait, so I have I to fall? I mean, you're my instructor. Like, somebody's got to show me. Yeah, usually we have one of the other students. Well, you're the master and I'm the student, and I don't know how to <sighs> master as gonna a student. You're going to make me bump for this? <laughs> Why not? Oh. You want to fall in the safe part? You want your hands and your back, everything needs to hit the mat at the same time. OK? You want to keep your butt and your back up. So you're kind of landing. Like you've ever seen like the wrestler take a clothesline, right? Yeah. It's like, boom, shoulders, then back. The best way to learn it is to do it like this. Okay. So you kind of lean back and then you. Now is my turn to start taking bumps. Three, two, one. 
ah, that actually hurt. Dude. And you didn't even do it right. I didn't? <laughs> Here I am attempting bump after bump after bump after bump to the point where I just was not getting it. My head, my neck was tucked in, my chin was tucked. Yeah. But I felt that. Yeah. Oh. And, and you still landed on your butt first. But it was better. Well, I got a big ass. What do you expect? <laughs> it was much better. Okay, so running ropes is very important. There's a cadence to the steps. It's three steps. You're gonna turn and grab with your right hand, okay. like this. If you wanna be extra safe, you can take your left and grab here. I okay. don't do that. You're gonna to wanna to plant your feet when you turn, right? So here we are, coming off the ropes. One, two, three, turn into the ropes. You gotta like kinda of throw yourself into it. One, One two, two, three. three. Turn into the ropes, perfect. One, two, three, turn into the ropes. One, no, so you needed four, two, three, there you go. One, two, three, boom. Ooh, One, yes. two, three. Oh, those are steel cables and garden hose, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it oh, hurts. That actually, so it isn't fake, because this stuff actually hurts. People don't realize that just running into the ropes actually hurts, I like take a lot. I shirt off, yeah, that's, <laughs> that was, painful actually just doing that and and you were hitting them how slow <laughs> like you were walking into them practically so how bad does it hurt well i shouldn't ask that because i'm probably about to do that <laughs> running full force you have to run into them at full force and it was at this moment i started to realize that professional wrestlers are a different breed of human and what i mean by that is that they're able to put their body through so much pain just for people's entertainment How's your back not hurt? <laughs> you just get used to it. Am I doing this better than falling? Yes. So what about if I'm a wrestler that just doesn't take bumps? Me? You can't take my gimmick. <laughs> now that I kind of understand the basics, it's time to have some fun here at GTS Wrestling. Okay, so Emily. What's next? You can't see me. We're gonna learn the big stuff. Attitude adjustment. That seems painful, but doesn't the... Uh... Five knuckle shuffle come after that? You can't see me! Start with the attitude adjustment. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna pick them up. Fireman carry, basically. Fireman carry. You kinda wanna be like this. Yeah. And then you're pushing them over. Yeah. Right? As you're pushing them over, you're centering them in front of you, and you're dropping to your knees. And the timing is you, your knees and the character all need to hit, boom, at the same time. Pretty close. And Your, then he hit first. Okay. But everything else was good. Try it again? Try it again. Then. You can't see me. Off the ropes, dust the out shoulder. Boom, yeah! Yeah! That's my finisher. That's yeah. my finisher. Emily I... Saxton right here. How about this? How about this? Yeah! Why don't you do a leg drop too? What you gonna do, brother? Hulkamania leg drop! How was that? <laughs> that was scary! And I had, I felt it coming, but I didn't. I'm alive, and I didn't lose, I didn't get pinned, I didn't sell it. We're good. Oh, well, that's because I didn't pin you. Oh, that's good. Not gonna lie, that was absolutely terrifying, but I was ready to have some fun and practice some moves on my good friend, Jake Duffner. So this is how you guys do it. Yeah. Wow, we're actually doing it. Do a little walk through, practice it. Run right, through ready? a few times, and then let's do this. On send it. Three, two, one, send it. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm dead. He's dead. <laughs> I am so really that's impressed. one of my moves. The other one was the attitude adjustment. <laughs> Come here, Jake. <laughs> 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 Legit? <laughs> well, I just the, the one I was to doing to the dummy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it to him. Do you trust Grit? I'm just here to hold the camera. Right? <laughs> He's like, why am I taking bumps now? What's going on? I'm jumping to you now. It's weird though, like with wrestling, because like people obviously say it's fake, and then there's people that says it's real. After today, I've learned it's very real. Why do you and like people just do this? Why do you purposely like throw yourself? Because as you said, the human nature is to catch yourself when falling. But in wrestling, you're purposely falling down. And 
it's a weird concept to me as somebody who's trying to learn this for the first time, like actually learn this. As you saw earlier, like I was struggling to let go and just let myself fall. So like, right. why do you do this? Why do people do this? Professional wrestling is a show. It's a performance. It's an outlet of aggression. It's theater. It's sports. It's combat. It's tournament. It's drama. It's action. It's comedy. It, pro wrestling is literally everything all wrapped into one. And that's why it's one of the most unique and entertaining shows that are out there. You know, and it's so much fun to be part of because it can be whatever you want it to be. You can be the silly, funny wrestler. You could be the big, serious, tough guy. You could be the little short cheater. You know, you could be the guy who just talks a huge game and gets his ass kicked. You can be whatever you think would entertain those people that are there to watch it. And when you get a reaction out of those people for the stuff that you're doing in here, it just makes it all worth it. After a very rough first day of training, I ended up spending the next day working on taking bumps at home. And this actually required me taking my bed mattress off of the frame and putting it on the floor so I could practice taking bumps. And this was one of those moments where I realized that just even this one aspect of pro wrestling is super hard. Like who would have thought just purposely throwing yourself to the ground would be easy? I definitely thought it would be easy, but once again, I'm wrong. But on day two of my in-ring training, I knew things were about to get harder for me because it was my last training session before my big match. And things were super rough. Today is day two of me trying to learn professional wrestling in an actual ring. Let's just get this right. I need to get my bumps right. I need to hit the ropes right. And whatever else Grim's going to teach me. Because this weekend, I have a match. And I don't want to get my ass kicked. Ass kicked? Where'd you come from? My trainees never get their asses kicked. So we need to get you ready to rock. You're gonna jump in the air. Okay. Hit that shoulder and land on your knees. Boom! You got yourself a little tripped up. Yeah. Because what happened is you hit it and then you went. Yeah. Okay. Gravity. <laughs> what, what happens is with wrestling, you have to commit to everything. Okay? Because if you do this, your legs are gonna get twisted. I know, too. I put caught. my hands down, so I could have got right. injured like you. Right. So you're you're twisting your legs. They're gonna get twisted, caught. Something can snap. Okay. You could baseball slide on this, and your foot go into the mat and snap your ankle. So when you hit, you have to come down like that. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. Ah. Try doing front bumps. Like okay. this, right? Down. You gotta just. Like that. Okay, because you do the, you know what I'm saying? Protecting yourself, trying to brace yourself. Yeah. You gotta. Right on your face. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's the hour of Shamu. <laughs> Shamu Saxon. So it'd be knees. Ooh, my hands went right in. Yeah, right. You gotta get used to, like you don't have to throw yourself down, just kind of roll down. How do I protect the- you Gotta turn your head. You know, the, the money maker. So, so really when, when you bump, really you're gonna put this hand okay. like that, and this hand over your head. It's like, whoo! <laughs> he just looked like he got killed. That's, so pro wrestling is like magic. Okay, you ever seen David Copperfield? And, and he's like, <sighs> all of a sudden sleight of hand and something's different, something's gone, right? Yeah. Pro wrestling is the same thing. He didn't really make something vanish. He used his sleight of hand to make it disappear and make you think, oh my God, that's gone. And then <sighs> he pulls it out of his sleeve and it's back. But it looked like he just pulled it out of his hands. It's all sleight of hand. It makes a really good magician, right? When you can't figure out how he did it. Pro wrestling is the same thing. You make it look like you guys are beating the crap out of each other without actually hurting each other. Then people are like, wow, she's really good at wrestling, when in reality. And they're like, I'm just a rookie. They're like, oh my God, he really took it like this and went, bam, and hit her right in the mouth. Boom! I gotta <laughs> add the sound effect in there, because right. I didn't but, decide. But notice when I hit it to you, yeah, I you, made the smack. You made the smack sound. Did I touch you? No, did I touch you? Nope. 
Exactly. But that's how it's done. With two days of in-ring training behind me, it was time for me to go home, get some rest, and get ready for my big match against a mystery opponent of Grimm's choosing. The only thing I don't like about having a mystery opponent is that I know nothing about them, and they could literally whoop my butt from here to Timbuktu and back which might be painful because I'm learning pro wrestling actually hurts. It was now officially the day for my first ever match and I was very nervous, but I was also super excited because I was having Grimm's wife, Tina, do my makeup to make me look the part of being a pro wrestler. Now it's no secret that Rhea Ripley is my favorite professional wrestler, so my look was heavily, and I mean heavily, inspired by her. But to be fair, Rhea is an absolute queen and her makeup is always on point. But after getting ready to look the part, it was time for me to finally do this thing and go up against a mystery opponent that I knew nothing about. So yeah, the nerves were definitely at an all-time high, but I had to act cool, I had to act professional, and also just live in the moment and enjoy my first ever match. Whether I get the living day beat out of me, or somehow I escape with a win. Either way, it should be fun. Here they come, I can't wait to see this. Oh my gosh, there she is. Hey Grim. Wait, is this my brutality or yours? Uh, this is gonna be my opponent's. I have no clue what you got for me, so. Okay, well this is gonna be your opponent's brutality and I can tell you right now, your opponent is shaking in their boots. Who is it? Oh, it's a surprise. Uh, you're not gonna... No, nope. <laughs> listen, it's a surprise. This is an open challenge. This is your first match ever. So we gotta announce you to the ring. Now coming to the ring for her first match ever. This is Emily. What was it again? Saxon. No, the oh. middle thing. Oh, uh, Walmart ripoff uh, Ripley. Oh, yeah. This is Emily. Walmart Rhea Ripley ripoff Saxon. Where's Grim? Yeah, Where's cool. Grim? I was told Grim was gonna be in my corner. Anyways, Michael, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make quick work of this. Get yourself out of the ring, stay safe. Okay. Ding 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 ding. Alright, ding ding ding. Ah, Here we get go. out of here. Here we go. There we go. That's uh timekeeper etiquette. And their circle. Walmart Ripley's first match ever. Walmart Ripley! Walmart Ripley! Walmart Ripley! Walmart Ripley. Walmart Ripley. Yeah, whoop, whoop. yeah, I'd be scared of that guy too. Yeah. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Oh, and, and they locked up! Yeah. Oh! You can lock up. Toodles the palm oh. grip the head! Oh. Toodles now, you can't keep him down. Toodles! 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 Oh, what's he doing? Oh, they're gonna get Let's see if one more. Let's see if this Ripley's as strong as the other Ripley. I don't think so. Oh! 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 What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hit him! Come on, get on him! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! No! He's with the chop! International star! Toodles the clown, international star! Oh! This guy's been to Japan and back! Oh, my God. 
Okay, how's your chest? My chest, what happened to it? Yeah, bam. Oh, I forgot about that bam. already. Bam, it's already numb. Oh, what a, <laughs> so that was you the whole time? That was me the whole time. I'm just really proud of you. I mean, it takes guts to step between these ropes. It takes a lot of courage to put your life on the line because that's really what you're doing when you step between these ropes. It's an accepted risk. When I step between these ropes, I could get hurt, I could break a bone, I could get paralyzed, or I could get killed. You stepped in here fearlessly. Well, and there was took some on... fear. There was some fear. There was, there I'm was putting some. you over. This I is in the business. It. This is called putting over your opponent. Fearlessly stepped in the ring and took on a fierce 22 year veteran, a millionaire in this professional wrestling business. And you went toe to toe with him in the middle of this ring and came out victorious. <sighs> Emily Saxton, you're so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for the training, Grim. Absolutely. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, subscribe to Grim, shout out your channels real quick. Check out Silly Super Pop on YouTube. It's GTS Wrestling, also my vlog channel, Grim Experience. I just want to say thank you to Jake Duffner, our one cameraman, and also my friend Michael behind the other camera. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again soon.